it all the way to about maybe three hundred feet to the top of that mountain where the town of Austin is. We made it to Austin. But there was nothing there, there was a park there. Alright. Um, one of those drivers. Not your average vape. Alright, guy's name's Tony. Alright. Uh, a couple months ago, I had a clear blue sky. He sent us a bunch of money. He sent us over a hundred bucks. He said, here, keep my name out of it. I don't want nobody to know that I did this. He's from Canada. He's got his, well, that's his website. That's his YouTube channel. Not your average vape guy. All right. And then we said, thank you. We, we made him a video. This is the video that we made of us eating in the Indian restaurant in, Fair, in uh, Green Valley in California was because of him. Because of him, we made it like, you know, another 500 miles, another almost 1,000 miles all the way up into Oregon because of him. Because he, he was, you know, he was a cool guy. You know I'm still saying he's probably a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? He, he helped us out. We kept his name out of it. Right? And then he went and said, sent another message a couple weeks later. Said he was going to send us some more money on the 6th. We didn't ask him for it. I have never asked anybody for money. Anonymous has never asked anyone for money. If anybody's given us money, it's just like RBAs, because they donated out of the generosity of their own heart. We've never asked, we've never begged, right? So, the six came, we went, they did nothing from the guy. He sent him a couple of emails, right? He sent us another, he sent us, he sent one back, he said, hey, right? Uh, I had some unforeseen expenses, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, I can't send you the money. Okay. I like it like that. If you can't do something for me, tell me. I'm not going to well, be mad. And he said it was going to be every month. Wait, hold on. Let me tell the story. Right? I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm not even. I'm not mad at the dude now. I'm a little upset. Right? Because look. Look around you. Right? The only store anywhere near us is back over there at that mountain. And they want $5 for a bottle of soda. We gave them all the money we had, and all we've eaten all day is the sandwich that we dug out of the dumpster and the box of Frosted Flakes. And we gave them all the money we had. $18 for two sodas and a box of sugar, sugar Frosted Flakes. Oh, and, and, it's, and it's one of those 99 cent packs of donuts that they charge three bucks for. Oh, yeah, yeah, three dollars. Yeah, I got them it's from Sam's Club, came over and charged three dollars for them. Right now. So, said he was gonna send us the money on the 21st. Okay, cool, we can, we can scrounge, we can scrape, we can hustle. We've done this before, look how far we got, eating food out of the dumpster. Cool, I'm down with it. You know what I'm saying? So, made me a little sign, posted up in front of the grocery store, way back up the road, right? Got a little hustle going. A few people donated some money. We spent all of that money buying supplies to get us to fucking Fallon. Right? We didn't make much. Only had like 24 bucks. Right? And, and believe me, when you're paying $4 for a fucking soda, $24 doesn't go that far. Right? Yeah, this okay, is worse cool. than California prices. Right? Now, so the 21st comes. Where's our friend Tony? Nowhere to be found. Send him an email, didn't respond. Send him another email, didn't respond. Send him another email, didn't respond. Send him an email tomorrow, didn't respond. Send him an email the next day, didn't respond. Send him an email four days ago, three days ago, when we were last in Fallon, right, at the McDonald's, spending our last dollar drinking, drinking, nursing the Sprite machine so we could do some uploading for a couple hours. Did we ever get a response? No. And this guy promised to, to sponsor us you know, for a few upcoming months until we get to where we're going. Because he, because he kind of knows where we're going because we, we, we did this whole offline for communication thing. Am I mad at him? No, I'm not mad. I'm mad at myself. I'm mad at myself because I believed him. I believed him. Right? And I'm also mad at myself because I believed him. Look where we're at. Am I upset with him? No. It's just a human being. Human beings have a tendency to do that kind of stuff. Right? They, they, they get all wound up in their own little bullshit and they think that they're running the world. 
and, they, and, and they think that everybody should just, you know, go along with whatever it is that they think or they say. Well, that doesn't work. See, because we had another guy. We had another guy, middle-aged vlog. But promised us, promised us, promised us that they were going to meet up with us. They wanted to meet up with us. They wanted to. They were going to where we were going. They were going to meet up with us. We wasted two days. And all the money we had and all the supplies we had, once again, waiting for them. Where were they? they had a seven hour head start on us, right? And when we got to the internet at the little town where we were supposed to meet them, and I sent a message, did we get a response? No. Did we get an email? No. Did we get a text message? No. We sat there and we waited, and we waited, and we waited five hours. I, I texted him the location where we were at ten times. I sent him three emails telling him where we were at. I, 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 sent, I did everything but send up fucking smoke signals. Did they show up? No. What we got instead was the next day. Oh, sorry, bro. Our phone didn't have signal and we were stuck in traffic. Bullshit! We rode up the same highway on our bicycles. There is nothing, people. You think I'm kidding. There is nothing. You see down there into that valley? You see where that shadow runs across? There's a big old windmill standing right there. That's the Indian Reservation. I went up to the Baptist Church in Austin because one of the locals recommended that I go up there and talk to the pastor because they have a little, little outreach program and they give away food boxes. We're travelers. We're in need, right? So I walked out. I left the anonymous over there charging the laptops. Right? And I walked all the way up to the end of town, all the way up to the top of the hill, and banged and banged and banged on the door to church. Nowhere to be found. Later on, come to find out by one of the Jimmy Jacks with a shotgun strapped to his foot quad, it's because the Reverend and his wife were out here in the reservation giving away food boxes to the Indians today. We should have came, yes, this is what he said. Should have been here yesterday, boy. That was Monday. They was open on Monday. Today's Tuesday. Today's not Tuesday, Jimmy Jack. Today's Wednesday. No. He's gonna be late for his Freemason meeting. That's on Tuesdays, Thursdays. It's on Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So, to conclude with this update, we are headed back to Fallon, 111 miles, with some crackers, a box of cereal, and a half a bag of raisins that some people in the car stopped, right, and gave us. And Sam, we're headed back to Fallon, and we gotta figure out what the fuck to do because it's gonna be another month before I get paid anything from YouTube. So we're stuck here. Is that, it throws away all the plans that we have, it throws away all of the fucking stuff that we had set up, it throws away everything that we had fucking going for us, that because we're gonna be stuck here in Nevada because of one person, Tony. And you guys wonder why I fucking, you guys wonder, right? I'm a nice guy. I'm a good person. I am. I have a good heart. I believe in all of the right stuff. Right? I go out of my way to do something for when somebody asks me to. When you ask me to do, I'm this kind of person I am. You can ask anonymous, so tell you this. When you ask me to do something, I stop what I'm doing right then. And I go do what you asked me to do. And I will die making sure that it gets done. Because my anonymous friend is the same way. He'll do it the same way. When you tell me something three weeks ahead of time, right? And I plan my whole life. This is my life out here! I could die here! When I plan my whole life around that simple little thing. And then you fail. And then you don't come through. And then you don't even say why. And then you don't even say hello. You don't even say, I'm sorry, bro, I can't help you. But yet, I'm out here, and it's already over 90 degrees. And it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're not going to make it back to Fallon today. I'm carrying 50 pounds in just plain water. And we're climbing up this mountain. We're climbing up this 7,000 foot fucking mountain, right, to get back 
to a culvert that we found a couple of days ago so that we could sleep. Do you think we're going to have any, any, any energy, any motivation when we get to fucking Fallon to do anything? But you know what we're going to do when we get there? We're going to raid the Little Caesars pizza dumpster. We're going to raid the dumpster behind fucking Safeway. We're going to fucking tip over every fucking trash can we can find in that town so that we could get enough fucking supplies so that we could make it to where we need to go so that we could start on with the second phase of our fucking mission. With you or without you, Tony, we're going to. We were going to from the beginning. We never asked you for anything, but we never expected you to leave us out here in the middle of nowhere. We would have picked a different route. We didn't expect you to do that. For all of my loyal subscribers, I apologize. I truly, sincerely, I apologize. I don't mean to, I don't mean to upset anyone. I don't mean to ruin anybody's day. You know what I'm saying? But look. And we're still 300 fucking miles from the goddamn Utah border. And then we're still 350 miles from where we need to go from there. This is me, Brian, anonymous, at uh, mile marker number nine, Churchill County, Nevada. Thank you.